Hey guys, so we have another new interesting interview by Misha Collins today by TV Insider, the same company that interviewed G2 recently and I made a video about that last time. So I'm going to do a breakdown of this interview by Misha Collins where he talks in general about the ending of the show and see if he actually slips up and spoils the actual ending of the show in this interview. So let's watch it together and uh, talk about it. I know there, there was a little sadness when we heard the upcoming season would be the last. Yes. Uh, did you feel the same wave of sadness? Yes. Um, I think that there are there were waves of emotion. Um, there's something there's something exciting about sort of going into the unknown. We um, I, I don't know how to be an adult in the world and not be on Supernatural. This is a you know this has been my whole yeah. career. It feels like, uh, and it's the same for Jared and Jensen. I mean, 15 years is a really long time, and. Um, and our lives have all changed a great deal since we started on the show. I was just reflecting, we're here at the upfronts, you know, there's a, a big audience full of advertisers. I wonder how many of them have even been in their industry for 15 years, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a long haul. So, um, and we all love working on the show and we love the crew and we love each other. And so there's a, there's a lot of painful goodbyes built into it. Um, and, and I, Weirdly, I think that we're, I don't think any of us really expected this, but I think that we're also uh, emotionally attached to the characters that we play yeah. and kind of feel like, oh my God, it's going to be really sad when Cass dies or, you know, when Sam loses Dean for good or, you know, whatever. I don't know how the show ends. Okay, so that's an interesting part. I got an interview when he talks a little bit more specifics, like what he thinks could happen or what probably what he knows can happen. So it seems like uh, they might be discussing that in private, him, Jim, and Jared, even if it's not official yet, by the cast and crew, like showrunners and all of that. So he talked about Castile dying and Sam losing Dean for good. He doesn't know how the ending will be, like he said, but. Um, I'm not too sure about that because Jensen, Jared, and Misha would be having their own talks like what do you wish to see in the finale. So did Misha Collins just pull a Mark Ruffalo or, or Tom Han from the Marvel Universe where they spoil stuff about the ending of their movies and he actually spoiled what the series ending could be. Castile dying and uh, Dean dying and Sam being the one who lives on without Dean for good. I don't know. Um, I think there's a good chance this could happen anyway, even if it was really a spoiler. It's not really clear. He's just talking in general terms, but you could argue that he actually just slipped and said what could happen in the series finale based on the talks between him, Jensen, and Jared, and what they wish to see in the finale, or at least one of the possible outcomes, because even in my prediction video, 15 predictions about Spencer season 15, I put predictions about the boys dying and Castile also dying by being, take, by being taken to the empty for good. So Misha's speculation slash possible spoiler here or hopes, whatever he thinks about that, goes in line well with what I actually predict for the series finale. So who knows that this could actually happen? Uh, is he just speculating in general and just like want to appear casual about it, but they actually slipped? and said so what could happen in the series finale. It's not entirely clear, but I think that is very possible for the finale of the series. And kind of feel like, oh my God, it's gonna be really sad when Cass dies. Or, you know, when Sam loses Dean for good. Moving on to my sixth prediction for the final season, 
Castiel will be taken by the empty either mid-season or at the very end of the season. It will be like an ending for Castiel being taken forever by the empty. And uh, this has to do with another prediction I'm going to talk about later, a really sad one. But they've been teasing, you know, the whole deal with the empty and Castile all season. But they haven't delivered at the end of season 14. So I think this will take place next season. Uh, Castile will be somehow happy towards the end or, con or content with whatever happens, whatever. And the empty will just swoop in, take Castile, and this will be the end of Castile's storyline pretty much forever. Really sad, but, you know, it's the final season and that's already sad enough. A lot of sad things I think will happen in the final season, unfortunately. Alright, moving on to my final prediction for season 15, prediction number 15, which is really the saddest one for me. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna have a little tough time talking about this one, guys. Which is the death of Sam and Dean, the final death of Sam and Dean in the series, or at least the death of one of them. Jensen mentioned an ending he wanted is a potential ending is, aside from both of them dying, which Jared agrees with, Jensen have talked about the ending he wanted that you know, Sam dies for good, and Jensen kind of like gives the keys to Impala to someone else and drives like a bike, motorcycle away. I believe that was the ending he talked about, if I remember correctly. So, either way, if both boys die for good, or, you know, we get Jensen's ending of Sam dies for good, and uh, Dean doesn't want to hunt anymore, he doesn't have a reason to really live or hunt or do anything, so he does not even want baby anymore, and he gives the keys away and, uh, you know, drives a bike away or whatever, or a different car. So that's going to be a really devastating, heartbreaking ending. Either way, guys, the series ending is going to be devastating and heartbreaking, unfortunately. And the other more obvious choice is killing both of the boys. And uh, the reason for that, Jensen and Jerry talked about this even in the convention. My first convention, I went to Orlando Con January last year. I have the video on my channel. Uh, when Jared actually acknowledged me when I said the series will last forever. Well, that video did not age well, right? So when I said, you know, I yelled, I kind of yelled at Jared when he said uh, this show can last forever and I said, yes, it can. And he pointed at me. I was really excited back then and you, you can see that video for yourself. I, I've often said that I think they should die in the family. Yes. No. 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 You know who does that? Crazy people. Because if they're not dead, then they would be hunting. And yes. if they're hunting, I want to watch it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can. Yeah, it can. It has. <laughs> but obviously, I've been sad since I found out the show is ending next year. Came like a shock to me. I, I was hoping slash expecting it will go at least to season twenty, but it did not. So it came as a very abrupt news to me is that the show is ending next year. So anyway, back to my point, Jerry said, you know, if the boys don't die for good, if they're still alive, they would be hunting and I want to watch him hunting. Well, Jerry and Jensen said that and we would want to watch him hunting. So it doesn't make sense to let them just keep living and, uh, you know, not hunting, saving the world and all of that. Unless something drastic happens where Jack like fixes the universe, whatever, with all his powers, like some people said becoming Jack becoming the new god or whatever. I don't think that's possible. That's a far stretch for Jack to be like a god. He has a lot of powers, but God obviously is still much more powerful than him. So even if Jack fixes all the monsters in the world, there are still human monsters which he can't just kill all human just in case, right? Obviously. So I think we'll most likely, unfortunately, get a very sad ending. Uh, like I said, either Jensen's ending of Sam dying and uh, Dean having to move on, or the death of both Sam and Dean, both boys dying, going out, guns blazing, you know, saving the world and dying in the process. So either way, guys, it's gonna be a very sad ending, unfortunately. A serious ending is always gonna be sad, no matter what they choose to do with it. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Well, I don't want to. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends. Be gone long, I it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then, 
I'm going to sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.